Hey guys, this is CyberNight610, and I have a dick profile for you guys. Sorry about this being a little late, I've had a lot of internet trouble lately. I'm trying to get that fixed. That's also the reason why I haven't been on the chat on my website in a pretty good while, and also the reason why I hadn't played on Xbox with any of you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been sending me uh, party invites or things like that. Sorry I'm not ignoring you, it's just that my internet has been terrible, and whenever I try to talk to someone even on the chat, on a Xbox, then it's like really laggy, and I can't understand a word that they're saying. So yeah, hopefully I'll have that fixed by Monday, though. Good grief, it's such a pain. Anyway, though, here's a deck that I wanted to make a deck profile of. It's a lot of fun to use. It's not something you're going to see everywhere. I know people that are already seeing the title of this video are thinking this deck's got to suck, but it's actually a lot of fun. I would say probably around Tier 2, and let's get started, and I'll explain it as we go. It's an Inca deck. Inca Salvage is what I call it. It uses two Oracle of the Sun, awesome card. It has a bit of searching power, you know, for the uh, sub pay and the ant uh, tuner monsters. Plus, it's pretty easy to get out. It's a basically a cyber dragon, and it can dodge bottomless tra uh, trap hole. Good grief, tongue tied already. Uh, two sub pay. This awesome card helps me bring out the moon dragon, I believe, is this one. And uh, yeah, it's re just really cool. It just comes in handy. It has. They're just really neat tuner monsters. I've always wanted to use these guys too since they came out. Fire Ant's basically the same as the pay. You know, you kind of need them. This one helps you bring out the Sun Dragon. And, uh, yeah, just really cool. I'll tell you how this deck works though. Right now is how it works. Three Salvage Warrior. This is the, I guess, key card of the whole deck and it works with just about all the combos. Uh, this deck runs a lot like a, a Monarch deck in some ways, which you will see later. But uh, with this card, I can summon it, use his effect that whenever he's tribute summoned, I can special summon a tuner from my hand or graveyard, and if I have uh, Fire Ant or Sub Pay in my hand or graveyard, I can bring them out with this guy and then instantly go for the Sun or Moon Dragon. So it's a really handy card. So yeah, he's the key card, and he's the one that kind of changed around the whole deck and made this actually playable. Do Raikou, just for the milling, really. And uh, because this deck, it does, it is good to get some cards to the graveyard, just like what I explained with Salvage, where he can bring them back from the grave. So yeah, if I can get a pair of Fire Ant to the graveyard, sometimes that can really help. And plus, he destroys a card. I mean, Raikou's pretty good in almost any deck. Level Eater, it's just kind of like with the uh, Monarch thing, you know, this kind of helps. And uh, for Tribute, and different stuff like that, really. Two Caius, like I said, this does run like a Monarch deck, so it's good to have a few Monarchs with you. So, I mean, how do you explain that? I mean, you know, he's pretty self-explanatory. Two Fishborg, awesome card, you know, and it runs just like in any other Monarch deck, you know, that's just really cool. Two Treeborn, I had to double check, I believe these are at two now, I always forget on Treeborn for some reason, it seems like he's always moved on the ban list. So yeah, uh, really awesome card, like I said, it goes with a the Monarch theme, I mean, if you don't know what Treeborn does, you know, for Monarchs, it just helps him, he comes out basically every turn, you can have something to sacrifice, so it really helps the Salvage Warrior as well. I'm also using a uh, three Dupe Frog, they come in handy, I'm using the Frog Engine, kind of using the Frog Engine, so yeah, those come in handy, and I'll explain what else they come in handy for later, let's see, three Swap Frog, same with them, you know, they, there's a bit of a draw engine using water cards too, so the frogs actually come in handy with that. And two Jump Synchron, there's, you know, some lower level monsters like the frogs and stuff, and you can usually go for a level 5 really easy, especially when they're milled to the graveyard by Raikou. So yeah, those are the monsters. Now for the spells. Two more more of Greed. It's an awesome card, you just have to get rid of two water monsters in your hand, you get to draw three cards, it's, it's basically, you know, it's better than any kind of pot of greed or anything in this deck. It's really easy to use, like I said, with all the water monsters, the frogs and everything, I mean, it's my main draw engine and it works great. Foolish Burial helps me get, you know, whether I need one of those tuners to go to the graveyard, the fire ant or sub pay, or I need to get Treeborn to the grave, it's just an awesome card. Giant Trunade, I mean, that's your average staple, I mean, what else do you have to explain on that? Same with Arcole, uh, Monster Reborn, I'm running two Gold Sarcophagus, those just come in handy to search if I'm missing something. Uh, one for One comes in handy, of course, to search out cards that I might need. Also, uh, Subpay is a level one, so that comes in handy as well to get him. 
and two mystical space typhoons. Those are just your standard staple cards. And I don't have many traps in this deck, which is kind of awesome. Uh, Torrential Tribute, Mirror Force, and Solemn Judgment. There's just three I run. And there's not really, what I've noticed, not a big need for uh, traps anyway in this deck. It runs pretty fast. This can synchro summon really fast to this deck. It's almost to the level of TTs and Blackwings. So yeah. Uh, here's the extra deck. Two Sun Dragons. I got them an ultimate just because they look awesome. Two Moon Dragons. Also an ultimate because they look awesome. They're all first dead too. I had to do that. They're pretty cheap, you know, so I mean it was pretty easy to get them. But yeah, they just look so awesome. You gotta get them an ultimate. Cadastor, like I said, level 5s are fairly easy to bring out. Of course, Hyper Librarian, then if you're gonna have your level 5s. Bryonic, I mean, instead of going for uh, Moon Dragon, I can easily go for level 6. I can go for Delorean uh, Tiger King of Ice Bear. The reason I can go for this guy, I don't know if someone might not understand, is that he is a level 6. And uh, instead of going for Moondragon, go for him if I use a Subpay and a Salvage Warrior. Because Salvage Warrior is water, and this requires a water non-tuner monster and just a regular tuner to summon. So this guy's really easy uh, most of the time to bring out if you want to go for him instead of the Moondragon. So yeah, and he has a pretty awesome effect. Black Rose. Do Stardust. It's pretty easy to get out level 5s as well. Not level 5s. Um, level 8s, sorry. Uh, Scrap Dragon. Thought Ruler, Red Dragon, Archfiend, and Trishula. Basically your standard cards, but yeah, this deck's a lot of fun to use, and if you happen to have these cards, which, uh, this deck's, I think, pretty cheap. I think I made it for, I have most of the cards already, because I have, like, stacks of commons. Uh, I, I think I made this deck for around 20 bucks or so. I mean, of course not including my extra deck, I use the same extra deck for everything. Uh, well, except for the Moon and Sun Dragons. You know, I did buy those. But yeah, though, it's a pretty cheap deck to make. If you just want to try it out, it's really awesome. It's a lot of fun. I really suggest that you, uh, especially if you have the cards already, most of these cards are pretty easy to find. I mean, the only thing you might have to search for is the Sun and Moon Dragon. And uh, maybe Oracle, if you don't have those. I have a lot of Oracles. For some reason, I have like, I had like three or four play sets of Oracles for some weird reason. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the deck. Please tell me what you think in the description if you have any ideas how to make it better. I think it's pretty good the way it is. I mean, it's really good for just fun, too. I mean, I don't expect to win nationals or anything with this, you know, for it to be, you know, number one deck, but it's a lot of fun to, to use, and it's a lot better than seeing the same old Six Samurai deck or, you know, just all those other ones. Also, for uh, on a side note, speaking of that, I'm actually working on a bunch of different decks right now, and if anyone has, and just take my once list, because I have them, if you guys want to see a lot more deck profiles, help me out with the once list. I'm really, I plan on making a Arcana Force deck, a Malefic deck, a Gym Knight deck. I think those are the main ones I need, because I'm also working on some other ones, which I think are ready, just about ready, actually. So yeah, I plan to have a bunch of deck profiles very soon, and uh, if you guys can help me get the cards off my once, I think they're on the priority once and main once on there, uh, just help me out with that, and you'll get deck profiles a lot sooner. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully the ban list didn't kill this deck, and please subscribe. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed my latest video. For more great videos over Yu-Gi-Oh!, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to check out the description to see my Facebook account, and also see my website, cyrus.com, for the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! news. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.